Hi everyone, I'm Nikita and this is a video where I will be solving Advent of Code tasks in Clojure in kind of live mode. I, I didn't look up the tasks, I didn't rehearse this, so I will be solving them, trying to solve them as you watch this video. So uh, I have a little bit of setup, a little bit of preparations here, so you can follow all the codes that I will be posting uh, in this repo. So what I have here is basically just some basic stuff. Right? So I have a timer, so I'm not doing that uh, in, in competition mode, but uh, I'll still want to know how much this task will take me. I also have like a stop namespace that I will be copying over for different days so that I don't um, uh, write like unnecessary code, but, but it's, basic, it's basic stuff. Like this one is just reads the input, right? So I have uh, devs Eden configured. So I have uh, like latest closure 1.10. I have uh, Cider here and I have Visual Studio Code with um, with Kalva. Yeah, with Kalva. So this is my setup and uh, the, the, the solutions will be going in like in in REPL, basically, so let's start REPL here. Okay, so REPL, uh, to start REPL, so let me open Deep's Eden. So uh, to start REPL, we have to run this as like, like this. I'll try to explain as I go what I'm doing, so you might learn something as well. So this is the port that we need. Now we run Calva connect command and we connect to this port. And luckily, so I have the day one already set up. If I did everything right, I should be able to, yeah, uh, to see the input. So basically input right now is empty. So it reads its input from here. This is a file where input will be um, stored, right? So, and this is the code. So I, I, I did that. So one of the ways to, to do that, you can actually pass input right into the source file because it's like a throwaway a namespace anyways. But I didn't do that because I didn't want to mess with escape sequences and stuff like that. So it's easier to read from, from the disk. So, okay, uh, let's go and start timer as well. So you'll need another terminal for that. And let's go here and we have this, uh, sorry, the timer namespace that, that just basically measures the time that it takes me uh, to, to solve the, the task. Okay, so um, I've, I'll start it now, right now. I've already picked into the task for the first day, so I kind of know what it's about, but yeah, let me start the timer here. So basically, it's like that, right? And it starts measuring time. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Let's go to the day one. And the task here is basically we have a sequence of frequency changes, which are numbers. We basically have to sum all of them unless I didn't understand something. And this is our input. Okay, so let's copy it into day one. So it's uh, 1000, okay, let me do that. Uh, and basically it's a set of numbers. Okay, so let's relate that. Let's see what input is that. Okay, so uh, basically what we want to do is, it's probably one liner, okay? If, if I understand task correctly, it's a one liner. So basically we take input, okay, so this, this is the one that I probably want in stop like that Mr. split by uh, n. so we should have this then we use uh, integer parse int and uh, sorry. Okay, yeah, so here we did the right thing. Here we need like that. Huh, interesting. Ah, yes, yeah, so of course, because I forgot this. Okay, so now we have a set of integers, and what we need is basically reduce with 
plus. So we have 590. Okay, let's see if it is correct. This is the right answer. You have one gold star. Okay, let me. My... Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I should. Uh, because uh, a wrap uh, conflicts with my timer. And timer uses this. Um, output of terminal and yeah it should be working right okay so we don't know how how long did it take to solve the first one and the, the part two you notice that the device repeats the same frequency change list over and over okay by the device you need to find the first frequency it reaches twice for example using the same list of changes so the device would loop as follows current frequency and change the result of frequency one example if frequency reaches twice is two Note that your device might need to repeat its list of frequency changes many times before a duplicate frequency is found, and that duplicate might be found while in the middle of processing the list. Here are other examples. What is the frequency your device reaches twice? Okay, perfect. So we don't need to throw away. Okay, let me. Uh, so this would be part one, right? Like, like that. And uh, what would be part two? So we still need that. So def int it's, it's like that. Okay, sorry. Or maybe that. Okay, nums. Right. So repeating is not hard because we have cycle. Uh, which is basically takes sequence and repeats it. So now what we have to do is basically to do rolling sum, um, and we need a set of sin sums, right? So the rolling sum is zero, sin is z, and nums is cycle nums. Okay, so basically the cycle would do z. Um, some will be plus some first nums, okay. Uh, then if seen if contains seen new value of some. If it contains return return this value otherwise we do the same we, we use new sum we add uh, new sum to the scene and we take next numbers like that and uh, is input is the same right Input hasn't changed. Okay, perfect. So let's just run, and this is the answer. Eight three four four five. Eight three four four five. That's the right answer. Okay, let me just. Uh, so it took me three minutes to figure that out. Okay, I guess uh, that's it. I will just. Um, I I guess. I guess I will just do that like prettify the solution a little bit, but like that. Here we have part two, which is basically the same. And it uses now, say and I'm so well available and here a uh, little pieces so that we, we can call. Let's reevaluate that. Let's see that we have those. We have nums, right? And we can create. Okay, so part two uh, didn't compile. Why didn't compile? Because I have it's in the character here. It still didn't compile. Okay, so there's some mistake in the. Okay, nothing compiles anymore. Maybe it happened with the REPL. The REPL seems to be okay-ish. 
So here we should see call variable and let's see. Okay, so for some reason it stopped to answer to my errors, uh, to my, hmm. it's strange, maybe it's an infinite loop or something. Hmm. Okay, let me just kill it and start it over as we usually do, because what else do we have? Okay, so okay. something happened my, probably with the REPL. So integration of Visual Studio Code with the REPL is is not perfect. So sometimes I have to do stuff like that actually. Okay, now it works. Okay, perfect. So this code is good uh, for to be committed. And let's go here. Let's commit the input. Let's commit the output. One. Mm, yeah. So solution up in, on GitHub. And that's it for the first task. The rest of the videos I will be recording and publishing on Patreon, at least uh, for the December. Uh, so if you want to watch them, please follow me there. Uh, maybe I'll publish them later uh, in public domain. And anyways, you can always follow me on GitHub Solutions on GitHub without commentary. So, so good luck.